Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of how to get good at World of Warships with the Hive Hand. Now this isn't me proclaiming to be the greatest player in the world, clearly I'm not, but I understand the game and I've had enough matches and all I'm trying to do is pass on just a little bit of that to help you guys out. And uh, the, uh, the motivation for this video came from a discussion on Facebook uh, where I've seen uh, a, a bit clear a bit of confusion um, going on between uh, some of the mechanics in the game and some discussions going on so I figured what what better way to uh, to resolve this than to uh, add some uh, add some video footage uh, to the background and uh, and try and, and clear this up for for good so we all know caps make points points make prizes prizes being the wins obviously um so uh we take a little dunk from top right okay and now you can see us entering b cap there is a 60 second timer for b now depending um on the game mode obviously um this has been domination 60 seconds um up to three ships can enter the cap circle and each ship counts up its own individual point caps this guy is about to be a couple of teeth short of a smile and oosh ah not quite all right anyway so you can see we get down to 30 29 28 18 when uh the second player enters uh the arena because it's only going to take us combined 18 seconds to reset the cap but i take a hit i lose all of my cap points so it resets to 30 but not quite 30 because we did have that other player in the cap for a second or two so it started off uh, at 27 so uh, we uh, as you can see the timer continues to slowly but surely count down uh, we are down to 13 seconds I take a hit and that resets us to 27 seconds so the uh, the friendly cruiser uh, that's behind us has got himself a grand total of three cap points because as you can see he's motivating himself around at the edge there um, but we're not going to receive any more further hits so that 27 seconds we pick up ourselves a kill six five four three two i get reset goes back to 12 seconds because that cruiser stayed in and uh, and it on i only lost my half of the 30 seconds we only lost 15 yeah, 15 Not that I'm ever one to course. beg in game, but if you guys could let me finish off this Yamato, that'll be a, a kraken. Yeah, so there's I know get my mission done. <laughs> a little bit into And I'm a CC. You'll get a thank you on the that. next video. So, I would like to give a thank out. Thank uh, you very thank much, Mr. To, Alaska. Uh, Hermit Crab. You are a true uh, Hermit man. Clown, sorry, in the Alaska. Oh, I did say I'd give him <laughs> a, a shout out as, Not a, to assume. as a thank you. Uh, for for not getting in my way and well we might as well see this because who doesn't like seeing a kraken but yeah as you could clearly see there cap points for each ship is individual um yes if you get hit it resets but it only resets the portion of your points you have on of, obviously depending on how many capture points your teammate has got as we could see the first time i was reset it would Thank appear you very much. that uh, uh that that we were reset completely because he'd only just got into the cap and me being reset would have completely reset that but the last time i was uh, i was reset in that match you could clearly see it wasn't reset to 30 it was only reset to 17 seconds because my teammate in the cruiser behind had not been reset so i do hope that this clarifies this point you do use this um i personally like to take my battleships into caps that are being taken by our dds um to basically run interference so they get the cap points i take the focus i take the, the focus of the fire because i'm spotted and uh and that can that can secure a cap without our dds being hunted down and uh, and reset or even worse kill um so do hope you found this video useful or entertaining um obviously if you did smash that like button uh subscribe if you haven't already and as always until next time take care